the shirt. Look at that. Is that your merch? No, no, no. This is the Pan Pacific Auditorium. It's what inspired the entrance to California Adventure. Um, it's from Merch Motel. Oh, wow. Well, that's very simplistic. I love the look of it. It's good. It's good. It's good for a DCA day, which I will be having later Ooh. on after space. I have to go do web slingers. Web slingers. Oh, Meanwhile, we got an opposite day today. We do. Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, you're yeah. over here and doing your whole thing, and I'm going over there and do my thing. But at least we can go on space. Yes. This is where, this is where our Venn diagrams cross. Oh, yeah. um, 25 minutes. Can you believe it? <laughs> I mean... Well, when Star Tours is a five minute wait. Five minute wait? Ooh. Yes. It's, it's a good day today. It really oh, yeah. is. It's a great I, it day. It does make me question when you see Star Tours at five minutes. It's like, does, you know, is Star Tours completely irrelevant now? Now that you have Falcon Rise, you know, are people just bypassing Star Tours altogether? Is Fast Pass necessary? That's uh, a big, no, that's a good no. question. Big, big it is no. not. No. No, it is not. No, it is not. Um, and even despite the massive crowds that you could find early on in the like rope drop, um, it fizzles out by midday. I mean, I waited 30 minutes for Indiana Jones, 25 here. I think the longest it looked like Falcon was around 45 minutes. So Galaxy's Edge is the most popular place in the newest uh, stuff. Yeah, the newest stuff. Oh, That's looks like we get to go into the AC. Yes, we do. Thank we goodness. Also, the background loop here uh, used to only play at the exit, um, exit ramp of Space Mountain, but now plays up here just a little bit, just faintly. That's a lot of Epcot music. It's from Tomorrowland 2055, the abandoned concept. The abandoned. Last Very much abandoned. Just like the uh, people mover track on the other side. <laughs> How's your experience been uh, not wearing masks? Feels weird. <laughs> it, it feels you're, you're weird. You're still adjusting to it. I will say I feel like a hypocrite. Yeah. Yeah. I won't explain, but I feel like a hypocrite. Well, it's the whole thing of for so long you're wearing masks and then you're taking them right. Off. So now you know. Okay, we're fully vaccinated. We're all. We know that we're science is backing us up on saying that you're covered. Yes. The only problem is now you feel strange in the fact that you're no longer wearing masks. Oh, absolutely. AC? No? Oh. I've ever been in there. I, I at least have not been in here. With the, uh, the telescope. telescope. Yeah. How did they get this in here? This used to be the old Starcade. The and second they, floor. They the speed down. ramp. Yeah. This is where it used to be. And if we look on the other side, these are people mover windows. Yep. That have now been covered over with images from uh, space. Space. How appropriate. Yeah. My favorite detail, though, is up here on the back. Thousands oh, wow. The uh, giant mural that's been up there. That is beautiful. Build your own ship? Part of the Disney Play app. Ah, that's what it is. That's the game that you can play. That's why it's Disneyland.com slash play. I believe it was meant to be uh, interactive in the queue, so you'd be able to play the game and it would actually show up, your like your scores would show up on the screen. Ain't nobody got time for that. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore, especially if this is 25 minutes. Um, My only thing, so the big thing about mask wearing and physical distancing being there, is it's still one of those things of you can be a little bit sensitive about it, or you know, you're eating and then you, you know, before you get up, you're like, oh, I gotta put my mask on, yeah. but you don't have to anymore. My only thing, because I, I parked in Toy Story today. Okay. Toy so Story is open, bus. so I have a to wear it. Bus. Bus. Yes. Yeah. A packed bus, but art requires you to have the mask on. Which, you know, kind of makes sense. Public transit and all that stuff. I mean, even, that's one of those things that I'm, I'm surprised how fast we've opened up, but I think it's, it really does come up with the, the sort of the science of it all. Um, but even then, you know, again, if you're fully vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. If you're unvaccinated, uh, or partially vaccinated, you should. You should still be wearing a mask. Um, you're also welcome to wear a mask if that makes you more comfortable or not. In yeah. this case, I'm more comfortable not wearing it. But Especially on the very, very, very hot days. Yes. I think the other, my biggest personal issue is, is space. So like, you know, okay, you can be, just because we're no longer physical dis physically distancing doesn't mean that you're still not going to give people personal space. So right. I can like, if I move slightly to the left or right, we're like behind and I bump into you, then we're too close. Mansion in the back, fountain in the front, and Freddy. Hey, hey. 
Thanks for joining us. Nice little quick session. I know you're off to your boarding group for uh, web slingers. Mm -hmm. Have fun with that. Do you? Are you gonna get uh, a little? What do you call it? The wristband thing or something? Um, I didn't bring my power band today. Oh, you b you bought one? School. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's it worth it. It balances out. If you if you put out the cost there, plus the build quality is better than the droids and Galaxy Edge. Just saying. But yeah, I mean, I had to get an Iron Man repulsor. <laughs> How could I not yeah. get an Iron Man repulsor? Exactly. Uh, but yeah, gonna just go over there and do it classic. You know. Meanwhile, you know. so we're going to go our separate race for the rest of the day. Uh, on Twitter at... Helmsman and Freddy. Helmsman Freddy and uh, the Imagine Tomorrow podcast. Uh, you know, Check it out. Check it out. Yeah. Uh, you're continuing some of your series soon, right? Yes. I have a whole bunch of different things kind of lined up, a lot of projects up in the air at the moment. It's just been really, you know, busy. Yeah. Um, but keep your eye on the Imagine Tomorrow podcast. There's a lot coming in soon. So we'll see you later. See. Let's get over to Rise. It's worth a shot. Full reverse. Cover vessel TR-141. Identify yourselves. Prepare to be boarded. The time has finally come. I have waited two years for this. I'm about to cry. We're gonna go into Oga's Cantina right now. They're accepting walk-ins. I'm very excited. Um, it's like, why am I? I don't know why I'm about to cry. Um, two years. As I mentioned, turned 21 in the pandemic year, and uh, we've just been drinking it at Disney California Adventure. And now we get to do it inside Disneyland Park itself, which feels very weird, very wrong. But boy, oh boy, I am very excited to go in. Look at that menu. You can smell it from here. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Sorry. Right over here. Right. Thank you. Have you had it before? I have not. I've heard about the numbiness. Okay. Uh, do not inhale the phone. This is your warning. Good to know. Don't inhale it. All right. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that's funny. All right. <laughs> I, I like that. I like that a lot. It's a very fruity drink. Citrus smell. <laughs> that's, that's still pretty weird. Thank you. The ambiance, man. Should have gone with a group. Oh no. Uh oh. Hey, that sounds familiar. No. low on battery but drink number two the Jedi mind trick uh, botanical with grapefruit and rosé and Johnny Taylor's velvet 
however you say that, Moles Blue Curacao, white grape juice, lime juice, and grapefruit bitters. It gives it a really nice, what looks like a Mountain Dew uh, Baja Blast. Looks like it. Cheers. Ooh, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like Anakin Skywalker. That's really good. <laughs> As the moon shines bright on Main Street, USA, closing time, it's nine o'clock, time to go home. And for us here at TASG, this is going to be our last visit of the month for the month of June. We'll be back in July for a few more visits. Uh, July 6th, 26th, and 27th are our next uh, confirmed dates so far. We may add some more dates along the way, but for now, for the month of June, I want to thank everybody for joining us here as part of the TASG Season 21 of the vlog. Um, the Boarding Group Chronicles will return then. And, you know, <laughs> you know it's a lot of fun. And I'll, I'll say, we did a four-day uh, park hopper ticket this time around, and this was a lot of fun, actually. And it was easy to schedule our visits, frankly, with this multi-day. So if you do, if you are planning to use a multi-day ticket to visit Disneyland, I will say it is very much worth it. Depending on how you, you use that day, you know, that's how it goes. And every intro so far of this vlog has been basically the most easiest way to get a boarding group every single time. I know that many different people have different uh, ways of getting that boarding group, but we try to make things easy here on this channel by showing you the one that works the most the most effective boarding group method to pull and That's what we've done so far in this month regular episodes. will be back next week uh, Stay tuned also for the watch parties on Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, featuring Loki on Tuesdays and Bad Batch on Thursdays part of the Disney Plus drop of the week We'll see you guys then. So long.